you know what? Skyrim was right. Tomato soup does restore 10 HP. Well, no. Writing prompt. You have the power to heal others. And yet, you are a villain. Ow! Oh, I'm the American healthcare system. Okay. I know antipasto means appetizer, but I still like to believe that it refers to the pasta's arch nemesis. You ever see something and think, wow, that is violently American? Oh, do you mean like the glazed donut bacon cheeseburgers? I exactly. What is that? Why do stores always say gifts for her? Who is she? Why are billions of Americans being encouraged to buy gifts for this entity? Someone explain. We must appease her. Cartoons? Isn't that for kids? I look up and smile. Yes, it is. Suddenly, my appearance shifts and shrinks as I become a child. All my money turns to Monopoly money and all my bills are gone. My adult responsibilities vanish. Finally, the spell is broken. And I am free. Yeah, libraries are cool and all, but have you ever found a library with a secret doorway disguised as a bookshelf that leads to a smaller hidden library filled with ancient books full of mysteries and forgotten knowledge? Me neither, and I'm sad about it. Biology says I'm 70% water. Chemistry says I'm 99% hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. Physics say I'm 99.9% .9 empty space. And psychology says I'm 100% confused. Which is it? A blonde guy with a magic hammer goes after his colleague, a big dude with giant fists and an anger management problem. Teams up with a fierce female fighter with a tragic past, all while trying to navigate a strange, colorful world forever locked in by a sensationalized competition and run by an old man with a flamboyant demeanor. Along the way, he runs into a disgraced royal heir with a penchant for green and mischief. Is the movie Thor Ragnarok or Wreck-It Ralph? So... This gave me chronic whiplash. Enjoy! God damn it, I'm so funny on a daily basis, and the world just misses my genius banter! Hey guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but apparently Mozart is the original cat boy. Less well known, however, is that Mozart liked to imitate a cat. He'd be rehearsing an opera with his singers, where he'd suddenly grow bored and leap over tables and chairs, meowing and turning somersaults. He even stopped! I heard enough! Mozart is the one true cat boy. Behold. A moose raised from Bebe and used by this Canadian in his logging business. The moose leaves for a few weeks in the spring, but always returns. You know, you can try and make fun of Canada all you want. But we know you're only doing it out of jealousy, because Canada is awesome! One of the worst feelings is when you feel a hyperfixation slipping. Like, no, you're so sexy, please keep giving me the happy chemical! Me. Sees the number 69. That's, that's the sex number. Holy shit. Nice. Sees the number 420. <laughs> that's the weed number. Look at that shit. Nice. Sees the number 666. Oh!